Oh my goodness, hurricanes, 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 earthquakes, pedophiles, pedophiles, war, black man Obama bombing African country, 2012, someone's world is coming to an end, and for this one, oh my God, it's the pedos, the pedos, uh, you know what, I knew there was a pedophile ring operating in this country since I was a kid. Since the kidnapping of a boy called Jonathan Swift, who was mixed race. And I was like, damn, man, I, you know, I never used to worry about pedophiles when I was a kid because I always thought they used to go after the white kids. But from Jonathan, the time I met, saw Jonathan Swift, um, you know, I believe that was in Hackney, North London. You know, I've kept my eye on these stories and every summer, every summer in the UK, every summer, just as it turns sunny, just as it comes out and that first hot day, a child will go missing. And a child has gone missing every year in this country since I was, what, 15, 16 years old, and I'm 40. That's why. So I know there's a ring operating, but 2012, yeah, 2012. I thank the Lord that I just made it into 2012. Some people's, some people's worlds are coming to an end, and it ain't my world. It's the world of the pedo. Now, all of you black people who used to work in media, I don't know, you know, if you're my age, do you remember back in the day when you was trying to get jobs and you were young and enthusiastic and, and you know, idealistic and you tried to get a job at the BBC and they were like, no. Uh, and you're 10 times more qualified than the other person? No. No job at the BBC. In fact, it was nigh impossible to get But I remember when someone got a job at the BBC and you find out they were just sweeping the stage, right? But that was their job. Do you think there was any career progression? No. But they made it up and I work for the BBC. Well, we know now the BBC has been a den of paedophiles and rapists. That's who we all wanted to go and be a part of. Is it any wonder they didn't want us working? Because we don't ream little boys' booty holes. That's not what we... Let me just clear something up before I start this. With the whole mentality of paedophilia, which obviously is abhorrent, disgusting, and one of the last things on this planet I think should deserve a death penalty if proven conclusively. Um, these are the biggest cowards, as well as them being monsters, real monsters in human form. These are the biggest cowards on the face of the planet Earth, too scared to deal with real women. So they go after kids who either are um, emotionally unstable, um, and uh, basically don't know what they're getting into, don't even know what... Look, when you, 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 you coerce a child into doing something, that's no big thing. You're a fucking grown adult. I like getting women to do what I want them to do. You know, women, curves, booty, breasts. You know they were brought up. You know they, they, were, they were given a good education. They were brought up properly. You know they know what not to do. And I'm going to make them do every nasty motherfucking thing I ask them to do. And they're going to fucking do it. That is power, my friends. That is power. They know better. But they still do what I want them to do. That is the real power. Okay? So, you know, I mean, if you're into, you know, if you've been keeping your eye on the whole Masonic thing and the Satanic Bible and blah, 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 you'll know that you know, um, um, stealing the virginity or the purity of a, a of, of a, 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 of a child, not even previous, a child is what gives you the demonic spiritual power, which is why so many Catholic priests are buggering children like that, because they're, they're not really Catholic priests, they're Satanists, but if you're going to be a Satanist and you want to operate and gain the most amount of power, what are you going to do? You're going to pretend you're going to come in the form of an angel of light. Do you see where I'm going with it? So, hold on, let's, let's go back a bit, because I, I, I seem to, because I'm a 40-year-old man. Imagine me, and just the other day, we just had an, a 30-year-old guy, um, check the news, 30-year-old guy going out with a 15-year-old running off to France. You know they ran off to France to bang, okay? This is endemic in British society, and you all need to keep an eye on where your kids are. 30-year-old teacher couldn't control himself was you know obviously the feeling must have been mutual with this 15 year old and he took her to france to bang because the age of consent in france is only 15 it's 16 in this country if you've done that in this country there would have been all forms of cr criminal prosecutions coming against you as well as the um, permanent label of statutory rapist 
But no, not in France. Oh, you know the French. When you are 15 and you have breasts and you are, you know how to fuck. That is the best fuck sometimes. Because that's what they're on. And they, and they, they, they slowly want to reduce it lower and lower and lower. We know the pedophile capital of Europe is Belgium. <laughs> okay. And um, I'll get back onto that in a minute because one or two things were brought back from Belgium. And they and, 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 and a certain former member of parliament is May Prime Minister you to used to exploit his power to bring back paedophilic images of young children and also was instrumental in the drive to try and reduce the age of consent for homosexuals from 18 to 16. Fortunately, it still remains at 18, but this cottager, okay, this cottager used to run the country. Oh, no, I'm getting, getting ahead of myself. Let's start from the very beginning. A very good place to start. Okay. Oh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm coming with a new format. I'm coming with a new format. I'm just trying to... No, look, let's just start off with the beginning. The list of Jimmy Savile's accusers grow. Now, who was Jimmy Savile? Because if the, the guy was so powerful, if he was sitting on top of all of this stuff, you know, and no one said anything, he had some very powerful... He, he, was, he was probably the head of a very powerful cabal that involved media, entertainment, and the police force. Okay, I'd go as far as to call him Grand Wizard Jimmy. Okay, but a photograph of a boy standing to Jimmy Sowell's car on the day he claims was assaulted by the BBC it was released yesterday as further allegations of sexual abuse emerge. Lawyers representing the boy are appealing for information on why the top of the Pops host was at. So, I mean, look, look, at the end of the day, Jimmy Savill has been caught. Now that he's dead, all of, the, uh, all of his plus 300 victims are now, who are no longer scared because, you know, he probably has some incredible, pow incredibly powerful friends who let these people know that they, they could potentially ruin their lives for the rest of their lives, ruin their lives. Um, now that the kingpin is dead, the truth has now started to search of who were the members of the cabal? <laughs> who were his pals? So the list of Jimmy Savile's accusers grows, and, and I, I'm very well aware that Jimmy Savile was a pedo. My whole family knew he was a pedo years ago, okay? And, um, but there was this culture in British society when, when you're at the top, the people at the very top, they like little boy booty holes. And if they don't, they like fucking the shit out of prepubescent girls. And I say prepubescent because this whole thing, he liked young girls, some of them were uh, 15, 16, no, no, bullshit, bullshit. He liked 11 and 12 year olds. And I'm sorry, as a man, I can't eat, there's nothing there. Any 11 or 12 year old is potentially my daughter, niece, or family member. I can see nothing sexual in a prepubescent child. We're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this and we're gonna extrapolate on some things because we, you have the straight pedo, then you have the dirty bastard who goes for like 15, 16, 17 years. I would just call that dirty bastard. It's on the verge of pedophilia. But there are, you know, I suppose one could, I suppose one could say that there are enough feminine, adult feminine traits coming along there where you have to, which obviously are, are seized upon illegally, which I put it in, which is why I, I'm not advocating any, which is why I put it in the realms of dirty bastard. And then, uh, from then on, you have normal men. 18 years and up, you have normal men. But even for some men, I, you know, I still can't fuck with an 18-year-old. I can't fuck with an 18 or a 19-year-old. My students are 18, 19. Do you, do you understand what I mean? There's, for me, there's a psychological barrier. There is only so far I can go before I look at you and I think that I'm supposed to be marking your work. But let's look back a bit. Let, let, let's just go back a bit. Oh, do, do any of you remember this guy? Do you remember this guy? I mean, Elvis the King Presley. Now, you gave this guy a wide berth, right? But listen, man, I mean, even the, the, the latest books coming out on Jimmy, on, on, on Elvis Presley are letting you know he couldn't formulate proper relationships with adult women and tell adult women what to do. No, once you have this megalomaniac type of power, you abuse the power. Ultimate power corrupts ultimately, right? So you're not using your ultimate power on women who can fight back. No, you're using your ultimate power on defenseless children. 
Now, this guy's given a wipe of a lot, probably going to get a lot of hate things for this, but fuck you. Elvis Presley was a pedo. You're going for 14. 14. Sorry, that's too young. That's, that's below my dirty bastard age. That's 14 is a child, man. So, like, um, remember Priscilla Presley? He married her when she was 14 years old. 14. And none of you are saying anything, you fucking... Yeah, and you know what? It's, it's quite weird. Let's think back to the mentality. Let's think back. Let's think back to the mentality. When you heard this... No, no one kind of go, hey, which is a bit young, isn't it? No one screamed pedo. People just said, oh, she's a bit young. Okay, you remember this guy? Do you remember this guy? Great balls of fire! Jerry Lee Lewis. Do you remember him? I mean, can any of you remember how... Oh, 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 she was 13. Oh, and well, that actually wrecked his career because obviously people were like, hey, 13? No. I mean, not even... I mean, 13-year-old, that's like your nice niece. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's not, that is in no way anything, any way, shape or form. To me, it resembles nothing to get nailed. Thank you very much. If anything, she needs a warmer coat, do you know what I mean? Or, or, or a cap before it gets too late. 13 years old and you motherfuckers allow this to go down. Why? Because he's Jerry Lewis and it was Elvis. Okay, so, you know, obviously in the other society to which I'm not party to, once you make it to a, what well, I suppose, are an untouchable wealth level, no one can say shit to you. And you can just pass this stuff off. You know, Jimmy Savile, he's abused over 300 kids. You don't think anyone said anything? <coughs> the ones who are keeping it on the down low, they'll, you know, in their fucking fucked up mentalities, they think, well, if I marry her, I'll just have the young pussy all the time, okay? Right? Well, you know, and you know that young pussy turns into old pussy. But for them, they're just going to capture that moment. This is going to be me. I'm going to marry this 13-year-old, this 14-year-old, and no one's going to say shit. Well, no one's going to say shit if you're, let's face it, if you're white and you're rich. No one's going to say shit. Okay, you, you think that's just out? Oh, do you remember? Do, oh, do you remember, man? This, now I remember this shit! I remember this shit, man. I remember Nanny Nanny Smith used to dance naked on tables when she was she was a fucking child. She was fourteen. And who did she? Oh, who, who was it? Bill Wyman. Yeah, that's right. Bill Wyman from the Rolling Stones. Oh, Mandy Smith. I did sleep with Bill Wyman when I was fourteen, but now the only man in my life is gonna be fuck. Oh my god. Okay. So basically, since Jimmy Savile has gone, basically, since Jimmy Savile's died, he must have been, he must have been a kingpin. He must have been the kingpin. Okay. He must have been the organizer. And we'll get around to that because the, the mainstream media still hasn't made any mention of Jimmy Savile's um, relationship with the Haute de la Grenne uh, children's home in Jersey. Okay, and there are a couple of other children's homes that he used to frequent. I believe there was one in Northern Ireland. But we'll get around to that in a second. Look at this. 14 years old. Fucking a big grown-ass, grown-ass man. I suppose he would have been about my age at the time. He would have been about 40. When you, yeah, he would have been about He would have been about my age. Yeah, and he was fucking a... Sorry. Sorry. Debate the cause says... Pedo. Sorry. Sorry, let, let's move on. To, oh, now, you guys in America, you won't really know who this guy is, but basically, he, he was on TV for a bit, okay, and he's the son of quite a famous comedian, quite a famous British comedian. Once again, I'm getting all my sources from the BBC. Bloody hell, they should know. And this is Ronnie Barker's son, Adam Barker. If you're British, you know the Barker, Ronnie Barker and Ronnie Corbett, the two Ronnies, right? Okay, well, this is his son. Comedian Ronnie Barker's son has been jailed for 12 months for making indecent images of children. Making indecent images? Making indecent images? Not downloading indecent images. Are you seeing how this is being by Making! How the fuck do you make indecent images? Unless you have the child there. But they don't mention that in this. They just say making. And, and, and note, I'm not being pedantic. If, if anything... Um, these guys here are being extra um, slick in their um, in their in their in their literary presentation in terms of Ronnie Barker son um, making indecent images. A community of sisters home in Ealing containing thousands of images. Right, you see these people that have the images, they fuck children. 
The people that have the images also fuck children. Okay, at some point they'll be taking that trip to Thailand, yeah, or they'll be going to Belgium, <laughs> right? Okay, or or, or or some other um war torn, um, desperately poor nation where they can be the big white man with small penis for child to jump up and down off. Now, uh, there are clues leading up to things. I mean, if you're a grown ass man. Keep your wits about you, man, because, you know, just there are certain behaviours that pedos will do that, they, and, and they'll just brush it off like, oh, no, I, 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 I have absolutely no idea. It's absolutely normal. I mean, you know, just things like um, children that aren't your own sitting on your lap. Do you know what I mean? Children that aren't your own. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're looking after someone's child or you're a friend of the family or blah, 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 yeah, that's all well and good, but... but but the only child that's sitting on my lap is either going to be my daughter, my son, or family relatives as I win them, you know, before they burp and sick all over my clothes, right? That you, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying stuff that I've seen that looks extremely dodgy, okay? But that people have just passed off and brushed off. Like, uh, only to find out later, you know, the person accidentally slipped up and landed with their, their dick in a child. Oh, that was an accident. I fell over and I slipped. Well, yes, yes, we can understand how you can end up with your dick in a child. Sometimes if it's hard and the, and the dick and the booty are extremely lubricated, a penis can sometimes just accidentally slip right up into that booty hole. It's, it's okay. We understand these things happen. I had to suffer the, I had to suffer this motherfucker on my TV, rock legend Pete Townsend. I'm sorry, Pete. When you consider everything else that's been going on, when I heard that story about the, uh, the about your, your credit card being linked to a child porn site, I'm like, you desperate damn fucking man. Right, get the fuck out of here. And what, and then in the, in the, in the light of the Jimmy Savile stuff, they put him on my TV on Sunday morning. They put him on my TV again. So he can say, uh, 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 yeah, I'm, 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 I'm researching abuse. And, um, and the guitarist who was speaking to his home denied being a pedophile and said police were aware he had studied child pornography, but only for research. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, what the, for reason? Come on, people. Come on, people. Rapists and pedophiles are in your midst. Rock legend Pete Townsend admitted paying to view a child pornography site on the internet, but said he did so just to see what was there. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. I suppose. Okay. I suppose I could, I could use my credit card to, um, to, uh, to, to log on to Ghetto Gaggers to see what's there. The only, th the only thing is I don't really know need to do that because I know that's a load of set up black women getting fucked in the throat and practically gang raped on film, which is what used to happen in slavery. That's a very horrible, nasty, disgusting thing. I know it goes on. There's some video footage out there of it, but I'm not paying to see what's there. Get the fuck out of here. Right. If there was anything, uh, the, the depravity of my culture at the moment, um, uh, which is a concern for me, I suppose could give me a justification for, for actually seeing how bad some of the videos are. But I'm not going to do it because, well, because because uh, uh, I'm not a porn freak. Either way, I'm not a fucking porn freak. So I'm not going to do that. But only a, and, and, and so if you have me being a like potential porn freak and not paying to look at that, right? Pedophilia is way, way, way down the road. There, it's way down the road. I'm sorry, I'm not going down there. You would never even catch me even walking down that side of the road. So, what do you mean you just wanted to see what was there? Get the fuck out. This is a re you just saw the rehabilitation of a pedophile by the BBC in front of your face. Okay, now, I, I know this story is going to run and run and run because, I mean, it is the tip of a massive, massive iceberg. And some of the names, okay, you are household names and you know them all very well and they're still entertaining you today. Now, this is what gets me. 
the amount of people that who I'm from a different culture. Remember, I'm from a different culture. Remember, I know, I know, I sound like I've got a British accent. Or I do have a British accent. Well, put it this way: there aren't too many Africans I know with American accents. So shut the fuck up, right? But you know, I, 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 I know we're in the UK here, but the the same thing is going on in America, and I, I reckon um, when 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 the, when when the, the story starts exposing some of the very top notch people, you're going to start to hear things like words like witch hunt. Yeah, the type of McCarthy as reds under the bed. That's what you're going to hear. That's going to be the fight back rhetoric used by the pedophile cabal. They're going to say things like witch hunt. <laughs> I'm sorry, right? Excuse the pun. But if someone's been fucking children, I want to get to the bottom of it. Okay? Someone's been fucking little children. <clears throat> we want to get to the bottom of it. We want to find out who these people are so we can keep the fuck away from it. Jimmy Savile and the child abuse cover-up. Because, you know what, we're, we're not being told. We're not being told how Mr. Jimmy here used to procure young children for other well-known celebrities. Okay, they're not, they're, not, they're not telling you any of this stuff. They're not telling you about his... Uh, oops, let's go back. No, we don't want that. We want that one. They're not telling you about his uh, chip trips to um, Old de la Graine. And um, if you want further information on that, there's a really good documentary on YouTube called Sun, Sea and Satan. Okay? It's from this real pie it's by Pie and Mash Films. There you go, Pie and Mash Films. And it's done by this Pie and Mash Cockney who I give full props to. Okay? I give I take my hat off to that man because um it, and if you go onto his YouTube webpage, you will see the vast number of scared pedophiles on his YouTube page right now, rubbishing or poo-pooing his research. Now, if you don't know about Haute de la Grain in, um, in, 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 in Jersey, um, it was a, 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 a children's care home named Orphanage, okay, and um, bodies, ch children's bodies were found in the basement, okay, and to the extent that they've started digging up and they found more bodies. And um, it's been alleged that, like, you know, um, some type of satanic ritual type thing what was going on there on a regular basis and also in the um mental adult mental care home which was just up the road um oh oh, oh, oh who else used to the 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 the, 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 the la Grain in jersey and we've got another one kinnock kinnock i can't remember the name of it is in in ireland and and you know who used to visit there frequently? Oh, let's just jump. Let's just dive in. It's 2012. Let's give you allegedly UK Prime Minister Edward Heath would regularly take boys from certain care homes away on his boat for weekends. Now, hold on a second. We know what Jimmy was doing with his Rolls Royce with the girls from the care home. And now tell you, oh, young boy, would you like to come on my yacht and sail out to the middle of sea? Mmm. Uh, it, uh, this just gets deeper and deeper. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them had. I wouldn't be surprised if one or two of them was sleeping with the fishes right now. Frankly, I suppose he would take them out to sea, do whatever he wanted to, and unless they were compliant or contrite or complicit, he'd throw them overboard. That's I'm alleging that part. But the name Eddie is well known on Hampstead Heath and the boy's home nearby in the 70s, Eddie, okay. So, you're, so breaking news, people. Former Prime Minister of the UK, Edward Heath, okay, was part of Jimmy Savile's paedophile cabal, okay. He was seen by the witnesses, um, victim taking young boys on board um, Heath's yacht. Oh, well, allegedly, the person bringing children for him to abuse was Sir Jimmy Savile. Well, that sir's not going to be... I bet, you they, I, bet you they, I bet he doesn't lose the sir. Okay? He was seen by the witnesses... Uh, he was seen by the witness victim taking young boys on board Heath's yacht in the morning cloud where they were at a party conference. Savile is known for supplying a number of high-profile MPs with children for them to sexually abuse. Wow! Wow, I mean, 2012, yeah, 2012, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man, earthquakes, hurricanes, revelations, I mean, um, I'm not even going to get into this stuff with, like, you know, my own parents 
turning against me. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm doing very well. I'm doing well in my own sphere of life. But they still want to try and talk to me as though I'm a little child. What is this? Ch trying to ruin my life. What is this with, 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 with Jake? What is this with niggers right now? Right? Not content with enough racism out there bringing everyone down. We're going to bring your own children down. Well, well, you know what? If that's the efforts of the wicked, I laugh. Ho, ho, hearty laugh and look back at this shit, yeah? Here are the real puppet masters and they fuck children, okay? Let's see. Oh, here we have something on Ota Le Grain. Ota Le Grain. Let me get this in view for you. I mean, it's the first time I'm doing it like this, so I apologize if, if it's not running all smooth. Okay, but you know, I'm, I'm just getting my stuff off the source. Jimmy Savile linked to Alt de la Grenia Children's Home uh, scandal. The former head of the Jersey Child Abuse Investigation said now suspects that Sir Jimmy Savile was implicated in Alt de la Grenia Children's Home um, abuse scandal. Yeah, well, we know this. We actually know this. Um, the observation came on the day BBC Director General George Entwistle gave his first interview regarding the row and indicated that broadcasters would take a look properly and hold its own inquiry once the police investigated in the investigation into alleged sexual abuse by the late DJ presenter closed. Now, you know they're just going to close ranks, basically. We know, we know they're just going to close ranks. People are going to leave, some people are going to retire, and they're, they're just going to disappear off your TV. Um, oh, well, well, okay, I'm just trying to read this and talk to you at the same time. Maybe not the best idea. Let's have a look at this guy here. Now, if we're going to talk about super-duper revelations, right, super-duper court injunctions, let's look at this gentleman here. This mixed-race guy, was his name Ben or something? What's the mixed-race guy's name again? Uh, ben Fellows, former child actor. Now, in the entertainment industry, apparently he had to run the gamut of pedos. You know, when you're a child actor, you know, there's under, and, you, and you're known and you're on TV, pedophiles come, must come, must be coming from far and wide to get a sample of that booty. Because obviously, he must be on telly because he's giving up some booty. Right? Anyone who works in the industry knows, that, you know, when you get certain breaks, it's because you gave up something, right? Okay. Well, it's no different in the entertainment industry. Okay. Half the reason I quit all of that shit is because my ass is a virgin. And you can't surgeon me. Do you understand me? Okay. Okay. So it seems nowadays that everyone in the public eye is attempting to suppress the press and media. Let's go from super duper court injunctions to even telling, thinking about telling someone's story. To famous and influential people and their representatives making dodgy deals with the media. Arranging not to run certain stories about their indiscretions in return for juicy ones about someone else. Jimmy Savile apparently called newspapers up directly and told them that he wouldn't raise money for a particular charity if they ran allegations of paedophilia. Okay, but, but let's get on to Ben. What about Ben? What's Ben got to say? So I published a story with a headline that ran, I ran the gauntlet of paedophiles in the entertainment industry, says former child actor. In the article, I mentioned that during my time working on the cash for questions story for the Cook Report, I remember that used to come on TV, it used to be quite good. <gasps> Ken Clark, the political beast. Ken Clark gripped my penis with his hand whilst in a political lobbyist's office. Now, he thought I was 15 years old at the time. It was an unpleasant incident for me, which lasted no more than a few seconds. After the incident, I told a number I told a number of the court report staff about the groping, and we left it at that, as they would have to discuss whether or not they could even include the footage in the program. So, I mean, to say it's gone far and wide, I was surprised when I heard Ted, Ted Heath. Ken Clark... I'm not, you know what? This is funny. That was like one of the few conservatives that I liked. <laughs> and it turns out Ken Clark is... Oh, let, let's face it. Come on, let's, let's face it. Let's face it. If you, The guy looked about 15 at the time and you're reaching over to try and grab his knob. Let's face it. Ken Clark, you are a repeater. For the record... My allegation is that Ken Clark touched my penis over my trousers when he had been told I was 15 years old. I was actually near 18, but was playing the part of a 15-year-old for the Cook Report. Oh, damn! Kenny, Ken, Ken! 
you're a dirty man, Ken. But then, you know, we know we always knew there was something about you. You know, you, you know but, you know, let, let, let's move on to... Like, I'm, I'm trying to finish this off. <gasps> Jonathan King! Now, remember Jonathan... How many names have I gone through so far? How many names? Music impresario Jonathan King lived an extraordinary and sordid double life. Now, I know, I remember some time ago, this came out quite some time ago, that Jonathan King was abusing young boys, okay? He utilised his uh, superstar BBC DJ persona, Tim Westman, and would basically um, utilise that persona to um, garner the attentions of young boys and then rape them up the booty hole. Now... Someone is isn't someone's world coming? Would you not say someone's world is coming to an end? Wouldn't you say someone's world is coming to an end? I I'd say the world of paedophiles. I don't even. Think, in fact, you know what? I think it goes far, far, far deeper than we know. But if you ask me, the world of paedophiles looks like it's on shaky ground and be coming to an end. Why do they all do their shit in Rolls Royces? They seem to, like, get Rolls Royces, take kids and drive them off somewhere. Always in the Rolls Royce. Like, um, Jimmy Savile, Jonathan King, always with the Rolls Royce. Okay, uh, let's, let's, uh, oh, Dave Lee Travis! Now, I'm not saying Dave Lee Travis is a pedo, but if you consider everything else that has been going on, I'm sorry, Dave Lee Travis is probably a pedo as well. But Dave Lee Travis was basically... He was unrelenting in his um, in his um, sexual abuse, uh, mostly on females. The former Radio One star added that all institutions were the same back then. <laughs> okay, so this is what this is. This, this is the liar's tacit admission of guilt by saying everything was like this back in the day. Defiant Davey Travis de denies claims he quote BBC colleagues saying it was a different world in the 1970s. Right, so it was a different world. Now you have to understand the mind of a pedo. Okay, so Dave Lee Travis denies claims he was he groped BBC colleagues. So groping is now a kind of modern day sort of um, misogynistic uh, 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 sexual assault. But he's saying it was a different world in the 70s, which basically meant that it wasn't called groping. It was the normal, it was the normal horseplay when the office. This is the mentality of a paedophile. Okay? They will, in their own heads, they will justify their actions. Even though you have formulated your own um, definition. They will say what they were doing was outside that definition because it was a different time. Oh, this time you might call it that, but I'm sorry, a dick up the booty is a dick up the booty. And I don't care what generation that we're in. I don't care if you go back to the ancient Greeks fucking children in the ass. Yeah, Romans fucking children in the ass, fucking each other in the ass, Saturnalia. Or the, 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 if you don't know, get to know, nigger. Uh, and and um, the second woman alleged she was 17 when Travis invited her to his studio in 1977. Put his hand up her skirt. She was giving a statement to the police and he said it was utter bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As further allegations emerge about the sexual abuse um, allegedly committed by radio fellow Radio 1 DJ Jimmy Savile, Travis was quick to distance himself from the claims, uh, which has resulted in... Oh, it was the other person. Have I come to the end? Have I come to the end? Have I, no, I... Oh, Let's just finish it off, shall we? Because Freddie Starr, I mean, look, look, Freddie Starr was right up in there with them, with Gary Glitter, with Jimmy Savile, and what disgusted me the most was was Freddie Starr saying, oh yes, I'll talk to the police. What are you fucking talking to the police for? I'll voluntarily talk. Were you fucking voluntarily, the, the, the Freddie Starr, were you voluntarily going to talk to police for? And then when he was interviewed, he was interviewed, he was deflecting all of this stuff, saying it wasn't the Director General, the Director General was a child at the time. We're not talking about how old the Director General was at the time. We're talking about what the Director General did to cover shit up. Because we know it's the BBC's dirty little secret. And what disgusted me, and is the hallmark of a paedophile. I don't know which little child he was standing there, but he was standing there with a the little child, holding that little child's hand. I can only assume it must be a member of the family. And he would be using that and it's expert cover. Give me a break! 
You're going to be interviewed about things with paedophilia. So what you're trying to say is, look, here is someone who has entrusted a child in my presence where I can stand here and talk to you about paedophilia while holding a child's hand. Get the fuck out of here. Former PM Ted Heath is outed. Now, this, now you're going to see how they do things, okay? They're not going to say, is a paedophile. They're going to downgrade that a little bit. They're not going to say Jimmy Savile was a paedophile. They're going to say, he likes young girls. Uh, probably a little bit younger than he should have. <laughs> right? Former Ted... And now, I, I, I heard about this a week ago. Because when the Savile story broke... I know he was connected to a paedophilic, uh, or can you say paedophilic? I don't know. A paedophile cabal that, that reached almost as high, to, to the highest parts of the, the UK government. So much so that this high member who would, who would, uh, you know, procure young children from Jimmy Savile also used to use his diplomatic immunity. Diplomatic immunity. He used his diplomatic immunity to bring back paedophile images through customers because obviously he wouldn't get searched. Sir Edward Heath, have you noticed the sirs? I suppose, is it once you ream more than 300 booties, boy booties, do you get the sir? Is that once you fuck more than 300 boys up the arse, is that when you get the sir? I don't know. Please someone come back and let me know. But Sir Edward Heath became the first former prime minister to be outed as gay. Fuck that shit. Fuck gay. Okay, because we, we all know that gay is a cover for Peter. Miss Heath was just one of the 17 Tory MPs who voted for lowering the age of consent for gay sex to 16 in 1998. Come on now! It was the vote for lowering the age of gay sex to 16. Get the... F look, look. Oh, fuck off, man. This is Peter written all over it. So he apparently was a confirmed bachelor. That was back in the day when confirmed bachelor meant confirmed bachelor. And you think, oh, he's just a man that lives by... No, ladies and gentlemen, confirmed bachelors are homosexuals or paedophiles. Well, most of them are. Okay, because, because, you know, because otherwise you would just be that guy that fucks women and hasn't got any women around at the moment. You're in between women. Okay, now, does this have it on here? It says alongside Open Secret. <gasps> Peter Thatchell, Mr. Gay Man of Gay Representative, Gay People of All Gayness and Gay Town. Peter Thatchell of Gay Rights Group Outrage said, it's a long-standing open secret. It's amazing his sexuality wasn't the subject of tabloid revelations during his lifetime. Because we know Edward Heath, right, uh, um, otherwise known as Eddie, okay, would frequent Hampstead Heath, yeah, and fuck boys. He was going for the boys, okay? He was going for the 16, 17-year-old homeless white boys who couldn't find no other way to put food on their table other than offering up their booty hole to any dirty, disgusting old white man on Hampstead Heath, okay? I've played football on Hampstead Heath, right? I've run into the, the shady parts, right? You know, playing football, looking for an open space to play football. And I've seen the condoms and I've seen the, the scrumpled up bits of tissue paper. I know they're getting down in the bushes out there. And this man used to frequent, in fact, I believe he was even warned by MI5 on a couple of occasions. And I believe that it was knowledge of this, uh, let's say, uh, I don't want to say idiosyncratic because it's not very weird. We know what it is. Let's say predatory behavior, okay? Knowledge of this predatory behavior was, I believe, used to strong arm Ted Heath to make a couple of um, uh, political decisions back in the day. So this goes all the way to the Timothy Top people, okay? And if you think Ted Heath as prime minister is as high as it goes, you're very much mistaken. But... Because I have to bring all of this back onto a racial tip. You know I have to bring it back onto a racial tip. When you think about all the idiots that were voting Tory, if you think about, I remember the black woman in the Tory party conference. She was West Indian and she's voting conservative. Yeah, and everyone, <laughs> yes, we got a nigger to vote for us. Hey, yes. Right, and all the fuck, everybody who holds all of these mother, who always held these motherfuckers in high esteem, okay, this is what you are holding in high esteem. I'm not saying this is everybody, but there was a reason why brothers couldn't get a job at the BBC way back in the day. Was it the, 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 the Brotherhood of Flower Pots? Yeah. The bro it was the Brotherhood of something, wasn't it? Dave Lee Travis. 
It was the brotherhood, wasn't it? It was the brotherhood of pedophiles. I've just mentioned a short list of very well-known out pedophiles. Because you see, the nature of a pedophile is to put it in your face and dare you to say something about it. Yeah, it's to put it in your face and dare you to say something is wrong. So these are some of the ones who have dared to put paedophilia to the forefront, okay, as though nothing was wrong and fallen foul. I would like to know where the others are. <laughs>